We're back talking about another overpriced TVC multi-pack. And this time, it's my bread and butter, the 212th. I'm a little late with getting this set because the $60 price tag was a very hard pill to swallow. Because these sets used to be $45, and now they are $60. Hasbro, where's my fifth figure, huh? For that much price increase, where's my fifth figure? Anyways, I'm going to try my best to not mention the price for the rest of this video. Because in my Tuscan review... I couldn't help it but just keep mentioning the price. Uh, I just need to emphasize it right here. This set is overpriced. And currently it is just on Hasbro Pulse. So good luck trying to get it for less than 60 bucks. But I am filming this before Black Friday. So if Pulse does a Black Friday sale where you can get this on a deal, hey, that's awesome. This video might be out after Black Friday though. So anyways... The 212th Vintage Collection set. This set gives us three 212th Troopers in the new mold, as well as Waxer, which is really cool to actually have a three and three quarter inch figure of Phase 2 Waxer, finally. So let's just get into it. Let's see what we got. We will be getting another multi-pack for more Troopers, uh, I think sometime next year. It'll have a 501st, a uh, 332nd, and two more regular white troopers, which is kind of odd given how we already have had them single released. Don't know why, but anyways, let's open this up. Let's see what we got. So first up, let us take a look at whoever this is. Looks like this is going to be a regular 212th. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I didn't think that the no black band thing was still a thing for this set. I thought they were supposed to have the black bands, but he doesn't. He is the weird Clone Wars black bandless version, which means that all of them are. <sighs> if you know me, I don't like him without the black bands because this is a realistic sculpt. Why does it have an animated paint deco? That's that's always been my philosophy. So I was thinking, oh, you know, this was like a minor variation without the black bands and pretty much everybody gets them with the black bands now. Not me. Uh, I got them without the black bands. So that is frustrating. <sighs> well, anyways, it's the new mold. It's the new mold. So and it's like it doesn't even have the gray paint either. It doesn't have the gray in the back because let's bring in the Andor Trooper, you know. It's supposed to have all this gray and black, and it just doesn't have it. <sighs> I'm biting my tongue so much on the price. I'm biting my tongue. I'm biting my tongue. Anyways, what's in this bag? A rifle. Are each Is each weapon individually bagged this time? <laughs> because for the Tuscan set, all the weapons were, like, bagged in one thing. Oh, but this one, this one's DC-15 Carbine is bagged with it. So here's another trooper. Uh, same head underneath. That is such a bummer, man, about the black line. I seriously thought this, you know, no black line thing was not a thing anymore. But again, I was late to buying these. Maybe the black line is like the early, was what Hasbro saw as an error. Maybe it's a rarer variation. I don't know. But I wanted the black line. I did. Am I going to buy another set? No, I'm not. <laughs> I can deal with this. It's okay. Uh, it's not the end of the world. If it really bugs me that much, I can literally paint it in. But there's two troopers so far. Let's see what we got for the next one. And we have another trooper. So I guess, like, the leaders are always packed to the far left. I do have to say the paint so far is not bad. There is a little bleeding, but it's not too bad. Like, here on each helmet, there's, like, some bleeding, if you can see that. Or it's kind of, like, smudged a little bit. But overall, I do have to say the print's not bad. I mean, this still is not the best, you know, Revenge of the Sith Phase 2 clone helmet we've ever gotten. It's not the best. It still looks a little wonky. It still does. Like, I'm I'm going to be comparing these guys to every other 212th figure we have gotten. And you'll see that uh, I, I still don't think they're the best. But we might try to do some helmet swaps and see if we can get one of the best. So this is Waxer right here. This is our, our boy. Uh, it's kind of odd. We only saw Phase 2 Waxer when he had uh, the binoculars on. And pretty much every plastic representation of him doesn't have the binoculars. Oh, he comes with two weapons. That's nice. 
At least we get two weapons with him. So, how's his helmet paint looking? Uh, not good. Not that good. You can see the visor is a little too low. It still has some of that smudging, but the print on the top is really good. That's really good. It still has some hatch marks on his shoulder, and he does have the unique deco for Waxer, too. You can see he's got the stripe, he's got the elbow, the hand, the knee pad, nothing on the thigh. Like, he does have the unique Waxer deco, which I can appreciate. But still, it's such a bummer that they've gone back to not having the black brow. I seriously thought they realized, oh, it looks ugly without the black brow. We should probably put that back. But nope. Nope, they've gone back to no black brow. And I see I see arguments for both sides. I see where some people want them to have the, the black brow, like me, because, again, it's a realistic sculpt. I would expect a realistic deco. But for others that don't want it, they're like, oh, it's it's Clone Wars figures. Why don't they, you know, why do they have a Revenge of the Sith style? But here's my my point. Does every Clone Wars Count Dooku figure that's supposed to represent him from the show, but in like a realistic style, have a massive chin? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, yeah, it's just the Clone Wars animation style where they don't have like a really defined black brow. But for whatever reason, Hasbro feels it necessary to not give the black brow to the figures uh, that are molded realistically. It really makes no sense to me, but it's whatever. So we already know the articulation of this mold is the Andor clone. So we get a ball joint at the head. We get a ball joint at the shoulders with the shoulder pads that are attached to the arm right there. I mean, the joints feel good. It's a modern clone. He does have the wrist hinges. This one goes in and out. And then this one goes up and down, so that's pretty nice. Ball joint there, he's got a swivel at the waist. Ball joints at the hips, swivel at the thigh, ball hinge at the knee. Then he's got a ball hinge and a pivot at the ankle, so that's pretty cool. You know, articulation's good. But I don't know, man, I was shocked to not to see them without those black brows. I genuinely thought that every single one moving forward that you would purchase from, like, North American Hasbro Pulse would not have the black would would have the black brow. It's whatever though. Honestly, they don't look bad. They don't look bad. They just look bald to me. Like I've known clone troopers with that black brow ever since I was a kid back in 2005. So seeing them without it is just kind of jarring to me. It just is. <laughs> so yeah, I you know, I'm not going to paint it in. I'm not that fussed about it. They're still nice, you know. Maybe maybe they'll do like a Revenge of the Sith single carded version with the black brow. I don't know, but it is still nice that they did offer a 212th Army Builder set. It is it is nice that this is a thing. But unfortunately, you know, if you want to just buy multiples of these, you're going to end up with multiple waxers, so keep that in mind. <laughs> you're going to end up with a whole platoon of waxers. But honestly, I feel like Hasbro's kind of... <sighs> biting my tongue. I'll, I'll mention it real quick. Hasbro is kind of pricing themselves out of people wanting to easily Army Build these. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, overall, I actually haven't removed Waxer's helmet yet. I need to do that. So, all the regular troopers still just have the plain Tamora Morrison head underneath. And that looks fine. That looks perfectly fine. That looks good. It's Tamora Morrison. But let's look at Waxer's face, because I actually have neglected to do that. So, Waxer... Come on, stand up, bud. Stand up. At least the build quality and the overall paint's not bad. Again, it does have that weird smudging. It's almost like the faces were, like, sharpied on. Because if you know, like, sharpying soft plastic... Oh, wow. Uh, sharpying soft plastic, it almost, you know, smudges it. So, let's look at Waxer's face. That looks good. That looks good. That's Waxer. You know, he's bald. He's kind of got that soul patch going on. He's got the subtle goatee. That's a good head for Waxer. That's good. I'm digging it. It's, it is nice to have Waxer. It really is. <laughs> like, once I get these guys in my 212th lineup, I'll feel better about it. But overall, this set is, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. As a 212th fan, I really enjoy it. But it is it is a mixed bag. I have already addressed in the, in the front of the video the biggest part that I have an issue with. But also, I'm just surprised that I got a set without the black trim. I'm genuinely surprised. Again, I would prefer to have the black trim. I would. That's just me. That's my personal preference. But still, it's just kind of odd and surprising to me. So let's get some of these guys out of our way 
because we need to do an ultimate 212th comparison. So let me get this standard boy right here so we can start comparing him to every other 212th figure ever made. All right, before we do that, I do want to bring in the Andor Trooper so we can see. I do think that the actual visor print is better. I do think that looks better on the 212th. But again, without that black trim, it just looks naked to me. I, I need my realistic sculpt troopers to have that black brow trim. And it's funny how inconsistent Black Series is with it. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And I guess they want to continue that inconsistency with Vintage Collection. So, hooray, Hasbro. Thank you. All right, let's keep this train rolling. Let's compare them to what I still consider to this day to be the ultimate best, the original Saga Collection 212th. And we can see... I feel like the proportion is better. I feel like the sculpt is better. The paint is better. The only thing that is not better to me is the articulation. But even then, the articulation for the good old classic antenna mold was not bad. Still, all these years later, if you want Army Build 212s, I still suggest the old Saga Collection. It, it just looks better to me in pretty much every way. Now, I do think one that is also very good, but a lot harder to get, is the Routine Valor version of the antenna mold. I only have one still. I only have one routine Valor 212 Trooper, but it's a more, you know, battle damaged version, or it's a more battle damage less version, I should say. So kind of pick your poison, but for me, if you want army build 212s, I still definitely suggest the Saga Collection. You can just see, like looking at the helmets even, it's just so odd seeing it without that black trim. Man, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed that I got it with, without the black trim. Anyways, let's compare it to some of the more like vintage collection-y molds. So here it is with the latest uh, 212th Trooper that we have gotten. The uh, I think it was like the Lost Wave Legacy Collection one. Uh, it's It has the wrong gun. Don't worry about that. And here it is with the vintage collection one that was released back like, what, 13 years ago? Something like that. So we can see, you know, I feel like the new one does the body better. I feel like it, especially compared to the one on the left. The one on the left is one of my least favorite clone bodies we've ever gotten. The body on the new one is better. But I feel like that, that helmet, like even if it did have the black brow, it's still not one of the best. It's still not one of the better helmets. And I'm kind of curious. Let's, number one, compare all of these without their helmets. So we can at least see that the new one definitely has the best Tamor Morrison likeness. That's an absolute fact. But still, like, trying some of these older helmets on the newer body, I'm kind of curious. Like, that helmet looks a little big. But it doesn't look too bad. I, I still, I think it does look better than the new one. I do. And we will have to ignore the battle damage on this version of the helmet. But again, I feel like that helmet just looks better. I know the sheen's a little off and it has that battle damage. The orange is slightly different, but that does look like a better helmet to me. Absolutely. So with all that out of the way, all that comparison out of the way, do I recommend this set? If, if you're a tr clone trooper army builder and you want some 212s and you like this new mold, sure. Anyways, sure. If, if you like this new mold and you want some 212s, go for it. It's not a bad set. Again, what I said in the beginning, what I said in the beginning, but it's it's a solid set. I think it's pretty solid. Again, you know, it's a gamble if you're going to get those black brows or not. Unfortunately, it seems like these later these latest runs are back to not having the black brows because I thought everybody that was getting this was getting the black brows, but I guess not. <laughs> I don't know. I guess not. But still, it's it's all right. I'm I'm happy with it. Not not super related. I actually do think I am happier with the Tuscan Raider set. I just like the uniqueness of it more, and I feel like it was a bit better value for money, especially with all the soft goods and an almost entirely new figure. I, I feel like the Tuscan set is a little bit more worth it than this one. But still, as a 212th fan, I can't say I'm super disappointed, but you saw my initial reaction to opening it and seeing a black browless clone. I was pretty surprised. It's like you see an old friend, and they have just shaved off their eyebrows. And you just look at them like, what? what? what, what what's, what's wrong with your face? Something's different. And then you realize, and you're like, where are your eyebrows? <laughs> Pretty much, that is, that is what happens with me whenever I see a clone without the black brow. 
for me, I'm just waiting for a Hot Toys 212th. I'm sure they'll do it at some point. I'm I'm getting less and less thrilled with new Hasbro Clone Trooper releases. I feel like I really get excited just over the Hot Toys clones nowadays. So I, I'm still going to keep going, but I'm but I'm definitely becoming more hesitant, especially with the thing I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Alrighty, guys, I think I've rambled on long enough. I think I gave you all the comparisons, but I do have to do one more thing. One more thing, just because. And he's a little dirty. I need to clean him up. But we got to get the leader in here. We could use a new Cody. We could use a new Cody. I'm just saying. That that one's, like, from 2008. But uh, I'm sure it'll mess that up, too. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Special shout-out to channel members, as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a great one, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.